Hey everyone, 412 Sports Cards here today, back with another video, and today I'm going to be discussing three baseball cards to be targeting among the current veteran rookie card boom. So, what we're seeing right now in the sports card climate is this resurgence in Hall of Fame rookies. It could be side effects from like the Jordan documentary creating that kind of demand in basketball. It could be the lack of current stars, people just looking back and appreciating former players more, but it's definitely something we're seeing. And card by card, We've seen Ken Griffey, we've seen Frank Thomas go up and up and just absolutely skyrocket. So what I want to do is teach you guys kind of how to get ahead of the curve here, what cards you should be buying to pick up before these Hall of Famers pop in price and get out of your price range. The first one we're going to talk about here is Adrian Beltre. Uh, career stats of note, 3,166 hits, 477 home runs, five gold gloves, and a career war of 93.6. So those are some pretty significant stats, and stats that I think most people would consider worthy of Hall of Famer. Adrian Beltre's kind of slept on a lot. Um, I mean, it's not really appreciated. This guy's a member of the 3000 Hit Club, and which and has a huge 96-amount um, war, and you usually only need about 65 or so to make it into the Hall. So, his prices are at right now. Where are they? So, the card we're going to be talking about here is this 97 uh, Bowman Chrome Rookie. PSA 10s of this are running around 200 to 225 Right now, they were about $150 back in February, so not that dramatic of an increase. And the PSA 9 of this is 50 bucks, and they are about 40 back in February. So, that's not that big of an increase. Um, they're way undervalued compared to peers. And I think that the PSA 9, which has not run up very, very much at all, in particular, is a good target at this time. Moving on to the second one. Now, his cards have seen a little bit more increase recently. Is Albert Pujols. Albert Pujols is still playing and is one of the all-time greats. 656 home runs, 3,202 hits, 2,075 RBIs. Three MVPs, who's 3,000 hit club, over 500 home runs, over 2,000 RBIs, MVPs, over 100 war. This man is a surefire first balloter. Like, no, n no question about it. All-time great right here. Dominated, dominated for years as a Cardinal. Um, now, where are the prices at is, I guess, what we need to be considering as cards are increasing in price fast. Pujols' prices have been jumping um, with the current craze, so he has not been slept on as much as Beltre, which I think is understandable because he's higher profile. Um, but I think there's still a ton of upside in these cards, considering just how excellent Albert Pujols was throughout like the 2000 to 2010 period. Just absolutely excellent. So the top Chrome traded is the first card we're going to talk about. That's this card. PSA tens of this are about 600 to 700 bucks right now. They were about 400 for a long, long time. So, I mean, we're up maybe about 50% there. And the PSA 9s are 300 And those, I, I've been following the market for this card for a while. And those were always around 100 bucks. So those have seen an enormous increase. With that in mind, the PSA 10 of this Topps Chrome Traded, while expensive, is looking like the deal. It hasn't popped in price as much. And... Honestly, if you can find a time where the PSA 10 is increasing at a slower rate than the PSA 9, I mean, that's a desirable trend that I would want to jump on. Second card I'm going to show him is 2001 Bowman Rookie. Um, these are tough to grade, like really tough. These black borders chip super easily. And PSA 10s in this are very, very few, less than 200 of them. They're hard to get. They don't sell very often. So there's not much data. But we'll look at the PSA 9 um, for, obviously I'm showing you cards in BGS slabs, but we're talking about PSA prices just because they're the best and they're the most sales, so they're easiest to compare. But PSA 9s at this, 200 bucks now, they were about 90 to 100 for a long, long time before that. So these are running up, they're about double in price. I really, really like the PSA 10 Tops Chrome Traded of Albert Pujols, so I'd be looking to get that one. But I think that Pujols is just going to keep going up and up. I mean, he's an all-time legend, and you, I would want to get on these, even though they're going up right now. I feel like we're in a trend where they could be approaching 
unreachable um, prices for a lot of collectors or investors. So you've got to get on before that happens. Third and final player we're going to be talking about from the same same set as the uh, Pujols is this Ichiro. Ichiro, 3,000 plus career hits. He had 10 gold gloves, career batting average of 311, an MVP. All of that while starting his MLB career at the age of 27. So, I mean, that's pretty incredible stats. Um, he will definitely be a Hall of Famer. The 10 gold gloves to go along with 3,000 hits is incredible feat. And he's definitely a revered great of the game. Um, this is the paper, but the top's chrome traded, which looks like the pool holes I just showed. It's this, but chrome. Uh, the PSA 10s of this are selling for about 600 bucks. Um, they were around 400, and the PSA 9s are selling for 160 to 200, and were sitting around the 100 range previously. Once again, when you look at these multiples, the PSA 10 and the Topps Chrome Traded is running up slower than the PSA 9, which is kind of interesting because usually it's the other way around. So that means that the PSA 10 is probably where you want to be looking um, if you've got the money to put up for it. I think they're good buys. They haven't popped too, too much yet. I mean, when you're talking about the Griffey, we're talking about 2-3x, just for comparison. The Griffey and the Frank Thomas are all like 2-3x. Here we're talking about 40 to 50%. Um, the Beltre even less. So I think these still have a lot of room uh, to go up as people kind of move on to the next big players. Um, I personally love the look of these. They don't demand quite as much value. This is a PSA 8, which is not very great. But um, anyways, this 2001 Bowman... PSA 10, once again, like the pool holes, there's so few of them. So we can't really talk about the prices of that, but we'll talk about the PSA 9, which is a $60 card and was about a $30 card for a long time. Um, I mean, I, I really think that this card is a nice card and we can see that like compared to um, the, the pool holes, the prices increase are about the same for um, the Bowman and the pool holes. With that in mind, I kind of like the pool holes better. I just think that he is the better player. Now, with that said, why would we want to be buying these Ichiros? It's because he has not just domestic, but he has international appeal. I think that that's going to be a long-term driver, is that he's a fan favorite in Asia, where baseball has a significant market. And these haven't skyrocketed yet. And I think there's a real chance for them, too, because they have that diverse collector and investor base. And I think that the Bowmans are kind of cheap and undervalued, especially when you consider how hard they are to grade um, with those black borders. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, kind of outlining three players that you might want to look into for your own collection or investments. And anyways, I'll catch you next time.